Hey guys, Morgan here from Paul's Fishing Systems. Here's Chris and Nathan getting ready for our drone fishing demo using the Condor fishing drone. Here's Nathan baiting up our trace rack, getting ready for our first set of the day. We're using fresh mullet on this day. We prefer fresh baits like fresh mullet, fresh kawai. Uh, hook it through once through one end, through the flesh, out through the skin. That'll give you your best catch rate. Hook it through one end, don't hook it through the middle. That'll help reduce tangles. All of our long line traces come with the target snapper hooks, which are scientifically proven to catch more legal size, less undersized snapper. And they also come with the PFS inline swivel clip. These have the swivel built onto the clip, which prevents them from turning back in themselves and tangling like others on the market. Today we'll be using a couple of different reels, uh, the main one being this Daiwa Tanacom electric reel. Probably the most popular electric reel that we sell, being that it's relatively inexpensive compared to others. It's got a really good capacity and it's just perfect for drone fishing. Uh, this reel is on a 8 foot 24 kilo two piece Shimano backbone rod. So a nice solid rod, bit of length to get you over any of the breakers that you get out of here on the west coast. Uh, we've got many different rod options depending on what you need, so just get in touch if you've got anything specific that you're after. In the instructions it says approximately 10 times, just keep going, it's changed, it says compass calibrate. Put that there. So hold it out, one rotation. So I've gone full 360. The light on the top's now has gone solid. The light underneath is flashing green. Go up that way. Go around once. I've got solid on top, solid underneath. So that's the drone calibrated. So props. One's got a P on it. One's got nothing on it. When you look at the arms, you've got a P on the arm, nothing on the arm. So P goes anti-clockwise. Wind it on until the motor turns, then you tight. Don't crank it up, don't force it. The, the propellers won't come off if you put it on the right motor. The motor spins the opposite direction that the propeller goes on. If you put it on the wrong motor, you'll know straight away because it's going to flip over and start cutting the grass. So you don't strike on it, same as a normal sort of long line. So when the uh, clip hits the stop, that's what sets the hook. You'll see on there we've got circle hooks. So we'll go get our feet wet, I think. Grab some sinkers, Nathan. We'll do it right by the water just because there's quite a bit of traffic through here sometimes, so I don't want to get my rod taken out. And on the spool here, you've got that clip on both ends. So we go one clip to the rod. Then we'll run that out. So you get second clip, you got two of those lines on each hook section, uh, on each spool, sorry. So you got release wire goes onto this clip, small loop. And then both sinkers go on here. It keeps it close to the drone, stops the weight swinging around underneath it if it's too far away. What I might do is put rubber bands on these. The idea behind the rubber bands is to stop them letting go if you get a few fish on or if you're at a beach like this where you can get quite a good cross current stops them pulling, keeps them in the sand. The idea behind the two sinkers is more wire, more purchase, rather than just one big slab of weight. Oh, she's gonna be messy. So, six hooks. Uh, in the little toolbox in that black box, rubber bands, please.
So just let it warm up and reconnect. Has everyone flown a drone before? No. Right. Today's your day. I've got another one there. We'll send this one out. I'll get the other drone out and you can have a play with it. With the antenna on the remote, yep. the manual intends to be the angle. On the old model, if you see the new new instructions, it's like that. Yep. So that the 500 meter model was out on an angle like that. Do you want to take off carefully when it's got the release, uh, the wire in? If you take off too fast, the wire will pop out. So I generally set at around about 35 meters. So that's already 400 meters away. <laughs> Flying back on itself, yep. So once you do the release, you want to get the tension on? Yeah, so once you're past 500 meters, it'll turn red regardless. So the idea of that is it'll go red to tell you that you've gone past the point of no return if you've been not quite listening to me or not reading the instructions. Um, if you're at low battery and you're past 500 metres, it has the potential to land where it is to save itself. If you're within 500 metres, it'll come back to the beach. But on extreme low battery or critical low battery, it'll try and land to save itself. So that's why we say once you get to nine minutes, that's where you don't send it out. You can go maybe 100, 150 metres, but don't do your full distance. So once you've sent it out, you've dropped it, you want to get the tension on as quickly as possible because it works on a sliding trace. So now it's out of auto return. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bit soft. So hold it straight down, that shuts it down. As soon as you've got it, turn it off, save the battery. Yep, I'm just pulling the tension on it. So there's a bit of slack line in the water. Yeah. Yeah, that's the key to um, getting those sinkers tight as quickly as possible. She's going around pretty quick. Next one I'll send straight out that way. About 40 metres a minute. That's the distance. That's the distance. That's the speed it's coming back. Yeah, I don't think I've got any heavier sinkers in the car. Why do you put two instead of one heavy sinker? Wires in the sand. Oh, yeah. So the sinkers we use, they have a, um, it's a thicker wire, yeah. so they don't let go like normal ones. And then we use a two, so it's more wires in the sand rather than one lump of weight.
Can I get you on the rod? When I yell out, flip that bail arm over for me. So this is the other reel that we're using today. This is the Penn Spin Fisher 10,500. We've got 900 metres of 60 pound spectra on this one. And this is one of the Tika Traveller four piece rods. These rods are packed down into a little suitcase and they're the most popular rod that we currently sell for dry fishing. They come in a spin and an overhead configuration. Sit it up straight in the thing. Just have to turn it sideways to get it out. No, I can just keep mine straight because I'll just straight ahead like that. Yeah. So the Condor fishing drone does have a return to home function that we use once we've set the traces. Press the return to home button, comes home. If you leave it, it will land itself, but we prefer to hand catch it. This just helps to prevent any sand getting into the motors. Setting out our third set for the day. This is our second set for the day on the Daiwa Tanacom. The pen spin fisher is still out there soaking. Uh, we'll set this one up to about 700 metres. Just about. Right. Looks like it might be a kahawai. There you go. There you go. Make it work. We kahawai? Yeah. Here we are, another demo done. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you're in New Zealand, subscribe to our newsletters and you can get notified of when we're heading out for our next demo. If you're free, come along. Thanks for watching.